Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the alternative way to make a granny square. So this granny square um, is, is turned over after every row. So every row uh, that we complete we turn our work. Um, this gives it a lovely effect. Um, it means that there isn't a front and a back. Both sides are exactly the same and it also lays flat and stops it from twisting. Um, so if you want to grab your hook um, and yarn and we'll get started. So with the alternative way to make this granny square the same rules apply um, in the fact that we use clusters of three trebles and we chain two for our corners. The only difference is that we start and finish each row slightly different. So go ahead and make your slip knot in whichever way is best for you and then we're going to go ahead and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're then going to connect this foundation chain in the first chain that we made. So insert your hook and yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook to form our circle. So we're going to be working directly into the middle of this circle. So we're going to form our first cluster of three by chaining three, one, two, three, and then making three trebles into this circle in the middle. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two and again yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we're going to chain two for our corner one two and then we're going to do another cluster of three straight back into this same middle space so yarn over insert yarn over pull through three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and two more, one, and two. And another corner, one, two, another cluster of three. So that's one, that's two, and that's three. Again with this tail end of the yarn just keep it close and work around it. So another corner one two and your final cluster of three. So that's one and two and three. Form your last corner one two and join in the third chain from the bottom so the top chain in this initial chain three insert your hook and yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook and that's round one which is the same as the traditional granny square so for round two we're going to turn our work and chain three. One, two, three. We're then going to work two treble crochets into this corner space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And another one. And then we're going to chain two for our corner. One, two, and we're going to work another cluster of three trebles straight back into this same corner space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, one, two. So that's our corner made. So we're now jumping over into the next corner. So we're going straight in with a cluster of three, one, two, 
three, chaining two for the corner, one, two, and another cluster of three, straight back in to that same corner space, one, two, three, that's our second corner. Jumping over into the next corner, yarn over insert, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, that's one, two, three, chain two for the corner and another cluster of three, straight back in to that same corner space. Three. And our final corner, cluster of three, one, two, three, chain two for the corner, and as our final cluster of three, one, two, three. So we're now back to the beginning and we join in the exact same way as before. So the top of this initial chain three, we insert our hook into that top stitch, yarn over and pull through both loops for a slip stitch. And that's round two. So for round three, we do exactly the same thing again. We turn our work, chain three, one, two, three, and work our cluster of three straight back into this space here. So we've done one, there's our second, and there's our third. And then we jump to this corner. So one, two, three, Chain two for the corner and another cluster of three straight back in to the same corner space. So if you want to make your way all the way around, just remember, um, as always, on the edges you go straight into the space with a cluster of three and then on the corners you go in with a cluster of three chain two and another cluster of three straight back into that same corner space so if you pause the video here um, and make your way back around and i will meet you back at this end for joining so i've made my way back around um, and we're just ready to join so the same rules apply insert your hook into the top of that initial chain three yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and that's round three so for every single round the same rules apply so all you need to do is once you've joined the round you turn your work chain three one two three and then work your cluster of three trebles straight back into this same space here so another two in here one two and then jumping over to this corner space one, two, three, chain two for the corner and another cluster of three straight back in to that same corner space. So again, pause the video here, make your way back round and I'll meet you back at this end for joining. So again I've made my way back around and all that's left to do is join this round. So insert your hook into the top of that initial chain three, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. So as you can see it looks exactly the same on the front and the back and that's due to the fact that we turn our work after every row. Um, it's also much flatter and it doesn't twist, it stays straight. So if you want to just add as many rows as you want, depending on whether you're doing a large granny square or you're doing lots of small ones, um, the size is totally de dependent on the project that you're working on. 
So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to press the bell notification button um, to be notified of when a new video is uploaded. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.